What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Mike Media. Today, we are going to start work on my Volkswagen Jetta, getting it ready to tow the jet ski trailer. I'll show you what's going on. So this is my 2013 Volkswagen Jetta 2.5 SE. And today, I'm going to show you how to hook up a trailer wiring harness to your car. These Volkswagen Jettas, it's not actually recommended that you tow anything with them. Um, but the resources are out there and they're available and so I figured I'm gonna go ahead and try Now unfortunately, I didn't shoot any video on how to install the trailer hitch itself This is a Kurt trailer hitch kit and it bolts directly on to the frame of the vehicle They make good reliable well-made products at a reasonable price and so I'll go ahead and put the link in the description for that and on the next vehicle I'll be getting, I'll be installing a very similar kit. They're pretty simple kits that take around 45 minutes to install. Fortunately, I'm going to get another vehicle here shortly that I'll also be putting a trailer hitch kit on. This is going to be a series getting the Volkswagen Jetta tow ready. The first one's going to be putting the trailer wiring harness on. And then I'm going to do a couple other fun things like putting a light bar on the front. Um, because every tow vehicle needs a light bar and I'm also going to be putting a inch and a half lift in the back in order to raise that hitch off, off the ground a little bit and give me a little bit more clearance with the trailer. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. After getting everything out of the trunk, the first step to accessing the wiring harness was removing this protective liner. It's just held in with a couple clips and with a good yank it popped right off. In order to access behind the tail light, there's three rivets that need to be removed. Here I'm using my plastic removal tool to pop out the middle first and then the base so I can keep the rivets intact. Once all three were removed, I was able to gain access to the wiring harness behind the tail light. Here's what the plug looks like coming out of the car into the rear taillight, and this is what the kit is going to plug into. Jumping over to the other side, let's get these rivets out of here, and then I can show you exactly how this kit plugs in. Taking the splice connector, you plug one end into the plug coming out of the car, and then you plug the other side into the tail light. I wanted everything back here to stay nice and neat, so I took the extra wiring and bundled it up, and then threw some zip ties on it. I've seen a lot of people use tape to secure the wiring in their trunk. I want this to be completely removable if I choose to undo it at some point. So I opted for zip ties throughout. And the loose wiring doesn't really bother me much because once the trunk liner is back in the car, none of this wiring is going to be exposed. Once everything was nice and tidy, I took the carpet and tucked it back under the weather stripping and then ran the three rivets back into the holes. Since this wiring harness is a powered unit, it comes with this little power box. Little non-stick tape, and it gets it attached to the inside of the trunk. Here I'm mocking up where the grounding wire is going to go. Now the kit comes with its self-tapping screw, 
I wasn't particularly happy with the fitment of this screw. It just left the eyelet a little too loose for comfort. So I removed it and I ran a bigger screw that I had sitting around into the hole as well as a washer just to make sure the eyelet was nice and sandwiched to the frame. After it was nice and secure, I took some zip ties and I cleaned the wiring up. In order to get positive power to the unit, I took the inline fuse and clipped the loop and then made two equally sized lengths on either side. After stripping the wires down on the inline fuse, I took the supplied connectors and crimped it onto the power supply. After stripping down the power cord that was running to the battery, I crimped it to the inline fuse as well. Since this is going to be sitting up against the frame and it is positive power, I wrapped a bunch of electrical tape over it to ensure that it doesn't ground out. After doing so, I tucked it under the carpet and found a nice little cubby for the inline fuse to sit. Running the wire forward, I pulled it underneath the seat, tucked it underneath the plastic on the side, and ran it up underneath the runner board inside the car. This kit actually recommends that you run it outside the car and underneath, but I feel more comfortable with all the wiring inside the cabin. Here I'm tucking it under the kick plate, and then I was able to run it through the grommet for the main wiring harness to the engine bay, up to the battery, and using the supplied connector onto the positive terminal. Headed back to the trunk of the car, you can see that I took the trailer plug and sliced in a hole for it in a grommet right below where we mounted our grounding wire. Coming to the outside of the car, I used some electrical conduit that I was able to get at Home Depot in 3 8 and half inch sizes. This comes in a 5 foot length and I chose to use the half inch variety for this project. Once the wire was all covered, I used some zip ties to attach it to the trailer hitch as well as the trailer hitch frame. Now that it's all secured, we're ready to go. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel in order to stay tuned on more episodes in this series, getting my 2013 Volkswagen Jetta tow ready. And also stay tuned for the continuing series of the refabrication and restoration of the jet ski trailer. Now I'm gonna go enjoy some of the sunshine.